Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kathy Sanders. I'm a surf fishing guide in the Flagler Beach, St. Augustine area. Today we are looking at some underwater footage that was taken back about the middle of October. October 18th, we were down near the shipwreck in Ormond Beach and we got some really cool stuff to show you. If you can push a like, push the subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. But let's get right into this video. We got some neat stuff coming. So take a look here. And right there we saw a southern stingray. We're gonna slow it down. Check him out as he comes across the camera right in front. You can tell by the shape of the tail. I got a picture there. That is a southern stingray. Very, very cool fish. I just love how they glide through the water and you can see them like their wings just causing them to float over the top of the sand. It's so, so cool. And we've got another one here. Check this one out. He comes right up here in just a minute. Another stingray comes right up over the bait, kind of hovers it over the bait for a second and then he moves on. So take a look here. We slowed it down. He comes up kind of checks it out for a second, moves on. I'm actually really glad that we didn't hook up on that Southern Stingray because you can tell that that could have been the same one. It was a couple minutes later from when we saw that first one. So maybe like 10 minutes had gone by. It could have been the same one. That was a pretty big Stingray. The next thing here I wanted to show you is look at how fast and, and strong the current is moving and then we have a lot of debris a lot of seaweed in the water so that's what it looks like underwater when there's a lot of seaweed you pull your line in and you've got seaweed all over it this is what's going on under the water it's a little crazy so now we're casting it back out into the ocean and if you notice here I left a little bit of time here because I thought it was kind of cool. You can actually see the clouds as they're coming across in the water and you can see just how fast this current is moving. It is really pulling. This is why I needed to have about a, a five ounce sinker on the bottom of this rig that we use for the Go Fish Cam because it's so strong of a current sometimes. So now we're coming up to the next thing and we are seeing a whole school, look at that to the right side, a whole school of mullet, striped mullet, coming right over the top of that camera there. So cool to see all of them and it just keeps going. Here they are, it's been hundreds and hundreds of these mullets so they travel in huge groups sometimes. Other times we see them in just groups of a few but that school was pretty darn big. Well, I'm super excited about this next fish that we're seeing. So if you take a look to the bottom of the screen, you're going to see a fish. It's not the first time we're seeing it on the Go Fish Cam, but the first video we're releasing. Look at that on the bottom. We've got a flounder. Went right under the rig, and we're going to slow it down here. So we're taking a look. Look at the bottom there. So you're seeing sand, but then all of a sudden there is his mouth right where the arrow is pointing. And then he comes under and you can see a fin pop up. See his fin there? And then you see the, the flaps on uh, the edges of his body as he's working his way across the sand. I loved seeing this flounder in the surf. Of course, this is uh, October 18th. So it's three days after the season closed for flounder. So it's no wonder we start seeing all kinds of flounder in the surf after it's not legal to catch them or to keep them. It's, it's okay to catch them as long as you're throwing them back. All right, so the next thing we've got coming up here, keep watching, we've got this pompano coming in. He's biting. Notice the water is fairly clean other than the seaweed, but the visibility is not too terrible, and he's attracted to that pink float. We got a pink float for clean water, we've got a green float for the dirty water, and he keeps going after the bait that's on that pink float. So check him out. He's biting away at the bait there, and I can't tell if he gets hooked on for just a second and shakes himself off, or if he's just biting on that fish bite that's on there, on the bait, he's stealing the bait off. But there he goes. Cute little pompano. It doesn't look like he's huge, but it's pompano nonetheless. 
and he keeps coming back. Notice his persistence. That current is moving really strong. You can tell how powerfully that current's moving. It's not sitting still, and he keeps coming back. Look at him. He's, he's fighting against the current to try to get his mouth on that bait over and over and over again, so these fish are persistent. Now the last thing we have coming up here is another smaller school of mullet. There they go. There's just a couple of them came right across the screen, but we can tell that those are mullet. One comes right in front of the camera. Just a few of them there. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. We love putting these underwater videos out because it teaches us about our underwater life and, and the fish there. But we've got things in our store there. Check out our store, fishinggirlstore.com or fishing-girl.com. And as always, tight lines. God bless. And we'll see you.